We lost to Iceland. We lost to flipping Iceland. A place which has got less people in than one city in the UK. Most cities, it's got less of a population than Manchester and Leicester. And how do we lose? How do we lose to a population with 330,000 people? I have no clue. Nobody does. Just first of all, before I get to start getting really angry, uh, I just want to say congratulations to Iceland. You did have a, well, I shouldn't even say a hell of a job beating us. It's quite easy to beat us these days, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to you, like, you deserve that win. We were just shit. We just were. So yeah, congratulations to any Iceland fans probably watching this. You deserve that win. I, I called Iceland to go far on Twitter. I did. I did say that they would be uh, England. I also put Twitter now if I can. And basically, I put that Iceland were going to be a t team hard to beat because nobody expected them to go anywhere. They expected to finish dead last, be out of the competition, but then for just to be in the Euros was a massive thing in the first place. And I said they will go. All right, they've got nothing to lose here. They have no expect. They didn't have any expectations on themselves to get any further than fourth. They qualified, and they would be what people are saying one of the top ten teams in the world. But I wouldn't even call it the top. We are behind Iceland. None of their players are full-time footballers. Their manager is a part-time freaking dentist. How can you be a dentist? Roy Hodgson. X now because he's left, thank fuck. Uh is on I think he was on four point six million pounds a year. And the Icelandic manager is a part time dentist. He's not even a full flipping manager. He's like what division like is the North Division basically their top Premier League division is as good well is compared basically to our North and South divisions, and that's about six rows down at our leagues. How did we lose? The, I don't understand. Their best play is probably Sigurdsson, and also I do like the uh, how every player uh, son is listed under every last name. I really like that. Don't know why. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. How did we lose to Iceland? There was no passion. How can Joe? I also said this, I said Joe Hart, I said on Twitter, again if I can find the tweet, I'll put it on now, I said Joe Hart shouldn't be in, Forster should be in, Forster has earned his chance, and I'm sorry, but out of the five shots that were took at him, four of them had gone in. I don't understand, throughout the whole tournament of five games, only one shot was blocked. I don't understand. I just don't understand how we do this every year to ourselves, every single freaking year. Roy, he's a fraud of a manager. He's not even a manager. Let me let me just get up where he's played out. Right. The only clubs that stand out for me here is Malmo only because they're Malmo. Bristol. Inter. They're just shit. That like all of the like I've never heard of half these teams. I'm literally I'm literally scrolling down and I see about four or five sides, and they're just just played it nowhere. How can he call himself a manager? The whole team's a fraud. Why didn't we bring Rashford on 40 minutes earlier? Why we didn't bring him on at half time? I do not know. Because in that, when he came on, like the 84th minute, he made three really technical, he dribbled around three players and hit the post. In 85 minutes, I've seen no single other English player dribble past anybody apart from him. I don't understand. It's a Theo Walker all over again. We had it. This is the best team since the flipping, the flipping golden generation. It's been the best team since and we still can't do anything with these players. They've just, they've got no effort. And the, the annoying thing is, 
I'll try and get the picture up again also. Full time. Hart and two other people lay on the ground in their own box. You... Let me get this right. You're virtually on the edge of crying because you didn't put in that shift. If Joe Hart should have saved that, that would have been one all. And I think, to be honest, we would have then won in its extra time. But I'm sorry, you can't be sat on the floor virtually crying if you didn't put a shift in and no single player did that apart from Rashford. Why was Dyer taken off? He had no injury, he had no yellow card. Why was he taken off? I don't understand his logic. I don't understand Roy's logic behind that. I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know what Rooney was doing that game. Hart, literally, the three best players, Rashford, Walker and whoever it was on the other side, Rose. I'd say they're the only people that probably deserve that place in that team on that day, particularly. Vardy was missing because nobody, if he'd had drink water, he would have been flying off. If it had been Ali, Kane, well Kane didn't do anything, I don't know what Kane was doing. One of the best English strikers in the world. If you can't perform on the stage like that, he's definitely not a world class striker. I'm sorry, but if you don't perform in a thingy, you're not a world class striker. You've had two great seasons. And don't give me all this talk about long seasons, because everybody has long seasons. I'm sorry, every single player that plays in the Euros has had long seasons. Look at Payet. Payet's a massive example. He's been playing every game virtually apart from injury. That he's been at the Hammers. And where do, where's the... He has no excuse to say, oh, I had a, pref I had a crap game because uh, I long season. No, no other player is making up excuse of that utter crap. Nobody's saying it's been a long season. Apart from English players, I don't understand why he's making this up. There's, there's just, there was nothing there on that night. And like I said, Iceland was going to be a tough game because they had nothing to prove to anyone. It was something that came out today that only, I think it was something like 300 people out of the whole population of 330,000 didn't watch the Iceland game. How mental is that? Three oh. It's about 300 to 600 people didn't watch the game and 329,400 did. It's like, come on, people have paid this much money. English fans cancelled the tickets, cancelled the plans because they thought they wouldn't be in Paris, but oh no, they had to then switch. So then they had to buy plane or bus or get somewhere to get to that stadium, stip cancel all the other plans in Paris and then also pay for a hotel there I don't understand and some of the players are acting like it's not a big deal I'm sorry but thank God Roy did resign because I would have gone mentally if he had got a new contract and that's the thing I said I did say said on Twitter I'm glad I I'm glad we lost and the thing is you know why if we'd won that game the FA would have offered him a new contract they said it a few weeks before the tournament. I don't think a lot of people knew, but I knew. I saw it. FA. They basically they released a statement. They said if they got past the quarters, that would basically mean he would get a contract. So thank you, Iceland, for getting rid of that shit manager. Can we now bring on somebody that actually knows about football and doesn't have a clue? He didn't know the formation. He didn't know the best plays. He didn't know the starting eleven. How can you not know the starting eleven? And that's the other problem. Friendlies don't mean shit. It honestly doesn't. We went, what what was it, 10, 11 games in pre-season undefeated. And we just melt in tournaments. That tells you that every single friendly doesn't mean anything. British media, fuck off. You know, all of this hype, we're going to win the Euros because we've got 11 on the back. Oh, wait, lads. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry, but when you go to a tournament... You can't pretend that it's going to be easy. In some of the performances, Harry Kane, I don't know where he was. Honestly, you may as well have not gone. And the thing is, if Roy took uh, drink water, we would have won. Think about it. He starts Vardy, he starts drink water. They've got their connection from Leicester. What's, what's Vardy good doing? 
counter-attack football. What's Drinkwater good at doing? Counter-attack football. And what is he, what is he also good at doing? Long balls to Vardy. I don't understand the... Sterling, I'm sorry, Sterling, you're not worth 55 million. You're now worth, because of the UK economy, you're probably worth about 0.1p. You may as well be, you may as well be the lowest division in Iceland. That, that's how bad you are at this tournament. Don't even know why we took you. Uh, I also formally apologise for saying that Sterling was a good decision in my starting 11. I don't know why I even said that. It's just so shit. Why do they pay 50, 50 million? Every Liverpool fan must be laughing right now. Because they know that they got 50 million for him, whatever it was. I bet they're glad. Uh, so, Roy Hodgson, an absolute melt and fraud of a manager. We need a manager who has experience in international football, let's be honest. We're looking at Roy. He's been away. Let's be honest here. He's been to clubs that nobody's heard of because he's that shit. That, that's all it is. He's shit because he's shit and that's why... He got beat by a starting 11, probably only worth about 4 or 5 million. All of their players, honestly, I'm pretty sure all of their players have other jobs as well. I'm pretty sure they're just not all footballers, I'm pretty sure. And let's be honest here. Natural born Icelandic people. There's probably about one in every 30, 40 people that are naturally gifted for a small population of 330,000 people. There's got to be one in about 30 or 40 that are naturally gifted at football. The rest of them have worked hard seeing the life that they, they want to live, going to the Euros, making it there. All these footballers have had it at they've had it handed to them on a play here you go Raheem you know Manchester City want you 50 million does that sound about right you know you get X amount of money you get 200 grand a week I'm sorry but that doesn't cut it just because you're getting paid like about 20 million how much it ever it is it's getting paid at Manchester City it doesn't mean you can be a prat it doesn't mean you can be a prick it doesn't mean that you cut you don't care if you're English you wear badge you wear that badge of pride because I'm sorry, I felt disgusted watching those three, four games. I felt disgusted. I We didn't deserve to go through. Wales deserved to beat us. Uh, yeah, congratulations to Wales to getting through. I predict them semi-finals, and I'm pretty sure they will go semis, to be honest. I think, I think they will go semi-finals. I predicted that. I predicted, yeah, that Arsenal will be a tough game because they had nothing on them. And you're right, they have nothing on them. So they can now go... As soon as, as soon as, the thing is, as soon as they got up at group stages, for them it's fun now. For them it's just f fun. It's basically who can we beat next to see how good we are. And I'm sorry, but their team was, their, our England team was not a scratch on theirs. Disgusting to wear an England shirt. Disgusted to be an England fan. Disgusted to have... This man, the owl bloody man, I'm ashamed to say, share his last name as him, Hodgson. I am disgusted that I have, to have that same name as him. Thank God we're not related, otherwise I'm pretty sure if I was, I would have been given a backhand to the bloody face right now. I'd be like, oh you Uncle Roy, I'd be like, yes Kyle. I'd be like, and he'd be like, what was that for? I was like, you shit at football managing, that's why I get the fuck out of here take his money and leave that's what i'd be like a dickhead anyway that's gonna be it please give it i'm not shouting because i'm quite tired so yeah please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed that terrible impression of roy if he was my uncle uh so please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in a bit